I shared with some of you that if I had done what was done in 68, which was to stand up and protest, demand our rights, that in some countries we just would have been shot. But here, I got a trial. I had people defend us. And I was ultimately acquitted. And within two years of my acquittal, I was working in the White House, in the West Wing, where the White House security prisons. Were they crazy or what? <laughs> the point is, you have got to get an education and choose your life. Because you can make a difference in your community, for your family, and transform the lives of all of your descendants. I'm going to say something to you that's going to maybe surprise you and shock you. You are carrying with you right now, at this very moment, all of your descendants in your ovaries and testicles. <laughs> Everyone that is going to be your descendant, your great, 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 great grandchildren are with you right now. Because when you graduate from college, you're going to transform the life of all of your descendants. That's what that means. So I want you to think about the power that you have, about what is going to happen with all of your descendants. The life you lead now has immense consequences for the future. And it's not something that you stop and think about, right? If you're carrying your great, 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 great grandchildren with you right now. No. <laughs> but you are. You are. And when you think about your life from that point of view, there's something that happens. There's a transformation in your thinking about what your life means, what the possibility of your individual life is about. And the actions that you take now and what happens to your family. You graduate from college and you're going to change everyone's life. My father got to the fourth grade. My mother to the sixth grade. I've got four children. And you know what? They didn't have any choice. They had to graduate from college. UCLA, another graduated from Columbia, and the fourth graduated from Stanford. That's in the reach of all of you. I, I heard the other day when I was invited to come up here, Moctezuma, man, they're talking about you like you're dead, man. <laughs> I said, well, I guess someday I will be dead and they'll be saying I said this and I did that. <laughs> but we all did it. Sal Castro, Paul Pisosomo, Harry Gamboa, Carlos Montes. We all did it. 
because we knew that we were going to change the lives of our own families and we loved our family and our family. We loved you even though we didn't know you. And for that, we were willing to sacrifice our own lives. There is a special burden that people who have suffered discrimination carry. And then what we get to do is that we get to humanize everyone else. Because everything changes. And those that are oppressed one day, another day they have power. And with that power comes a memory. And that is what you are doing today. You are preserving that memory. It's a sacred trust because it tells you who you are, who your people have been, and the special obligation that you have for everyone else to struggle for justice, for social justice, and equality for everyone. That's what you're doing here. You're creating a memory for everyone, and I love you.